Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about Bo Braid. Now we have a very crowded safety room. Kyle Hamilton, Marcus Williams, brought in Eddie Jackson. Extremely crowded room. Our Darius Washington. We drafted Snoopy Kane. We have the UDFA Bo Braid, who's the subject of uh, our video today. Now, Bo Braid comes to you from the University of Maryland. And let's talk about what he did at the University of Maryland. According to PFF, he had 61 solo tackles, 14 assists, 75 total tackles, one interception, and four PBUs. But the thing is, you know, as the Baltimore Ravens, we love guys that do multiple things. And I think this is why we brought Bo Braid in to compete for a job with the Baltimore Ravens. Just check out all these different ways he's lined up at the University of Maryland. As a defensive lineman, meaning on the edge, 39 snaps. As a box linebacker, 342 snaps. As a free safety, which is what he's kind of known for. That's his position, free safety, 189 snaps. As a slot corner, 98 snaps. And as an outside corner, 13 snaps. And we know the more you can do, the better that is for you to land an NFL contract. Now, if he don't make this team, that resume is pretty impressive to get picked up by somebody else. But I hope he makes this team at least on the practice squad because he's a special player, in my opinion. And for a loaded safety room, it's going to be tough. But let's see what Bo Bray did in this second uh, preseason game to try to help his cause, especially with Sanusi Kane having to miss the game because of the big hit he landed in game one. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. Run the intro. All right, let's get started here. And with um, Bo Braid, I'll highlight him. Then we'll talk about him as we go. Here he is right here at the free safety position. Let's get started. Hit that like button if you've not done so. If you're not subscribed, please do that and hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop the rest of this content throughout the 2024 draft season. Not draft season. I said that again. <laughs> Preseason <laughs> and the rest of the uh, regular season, which is about two weeks away. Here we got him lined up at free safety. Remember we talked about all the different alignments and here just coming down here and making the tackle. Just running the alley, coming downhill and making a tackle. He's the last line of defense back there. And that's one thing you'll see in these clips. With him being a free safety and being the last guy to, the, you know, the last hope, he makes tackles. He makes tackles. You see the uh, Pepe missed that tackle, you know, right there in the alley. And then the good job of whoever this corner is of making sure that they cut it back inside to the help. And Bo Braid is the help. And there he is. Showing up where he's supposed to be. That's that's a good job of team defense. Now it's bad by um, Pepe missing this tackle, but it's good team defense by this corner and and Bo Bray. The corners staying outside. Corners staying outside to force him back inside to the hip. And so when he continues to you know on this path, he got to slow down and cut it back inside. And when he cut it back inside, Bo Bray shows up. That's great team defense. Fundamentally sound. Stay outside, keep my outside leverage, force him inside. The help shows up, boom, right there. Next play. Got him at free safety again, deep free safety. He's here. Again, we talk about the different alignments. We'll see the different ones here shortly. Again, they break through on a nice little run. He's the last line of defense. Nothing stopping this kid from scoring. But Bo Bray and the end, that's the end zone. So he got to make this tackle. Boom. Get him down. By any means necessary, get him down. You're the last line of defense. If you got to tie his shoes together, get him down. And that's what I like about him. You don't see very many missed tackles from Bo Bray at all. When you're the free safety, you got to get him down by any means necessary. Now we got him here. Uh, they're in the red zone, so a little closer to the line of scrimmage. Not not as deep when he was playing free safety. Now they're in a little man. So his man is this guy right here. He's locked on this dude. That's that's his man. So he got to follow him wherever he go. Watch him 
sift through all this trash and come out on the other side still in great man coverage. Come out on the other side in great man coverage. Sift through all that trash, not get caught up in any kind of peaks. He peeks, sees where Darryl Worley is, doesn't get contacted, comes through in great man coverage. And actually, all of the Ravens are in great man coverage right here on this play. All of them. But he does a good job because the guy he's covering comes underneath the formation. He comes underneath with him and kind of meets him at the line of scrimmage. So not only does he get downhill in great, in great coverage, he meets him at the line of scrimmage. So if they do throw it to him, he probably tackles him for no gain. Now we got him in the box. He's here. And kind of like an extra linebacker role. So again, multiple, multiple positions. The more you can do, the better it is for you. Even if your tape not necessarily for the team you're on right now. Again, good job of being disciplined. Good job of being disciplined. Now I should have put the end zone view on here because you can see right here, he's dropping for the flats. He peeks to see right there. Nobody's there. So I'm going to start to settle. And when he starts to settle, that closes this little space. That closes this space between these two guys. And so now it's a, it's a, it's a smaller window for the quarterback to throw the ball, which I think forces the incompletion. Because now he got to try to throw it behind the defender so, so Bo Bray don't, don't knock this guy out. And it forces the incompletion, in my opinion. If you've made it this far and you're still here, smash that like button. It helps the channel a lot, a lot, a lot. And we're growing on our way to 10,000 uh, subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. Bo's still in the box here. Still in the same position. Now we get to see his tackling in the box. Same position as last play. We get to see his tackling in the box right here. QB cuts it back on the keeper. He's right there following the flow. He's going to make the tackle. We see him right here. Watch him follow the flow. And it don't matter. Big guy, small guy, he cutting them legs out. Yeah. Getting in the mix. I love it. Getting in the mix. A willing and good tackler. A willing and good tackler. Now he's back deep again. Got him back here. Yeah. I just wanted to put that in there. <laughs> There's no real significance to this play. I just like the fact that he hit people. I just really like the fact that he hit people at all times. Bam. And what I really like between him and Sanusi, that they are extremely, extremely physical. They love smacking people, and I love that about them. Bam. I do. I love that about them. There's no X and O about this play other than the fact that he just hit that man in the mouth, and I love it. Next play. I love the way he sift, sift through this. It's kind of like a pick. Oh, I'm sure I didn't tell you where he was. He right here, right there. That's him there. And he has the tight end, man to man. Tight ends lined up right here. That's the tight end. So he got that guy man to man. They try to run a little rub route. He waits on it because he's so deep. It's not really mad. It don't really. Matter. Well, you know what? This may not be a rub route. This may just be a hell of a jam by the corner. <laughs> That's what it may, it may be a hell of a jam by the corner. He gets off of, and soon as the the tight end catches it, tackle, tackle. Now a lot of people say, "Well, he's just cutting people low," but the way he does it, he throws his whole body, so he like cutting and rolling. 
So he ain't just cutting and diving with his eyes closed. He's cutting and rolling. Like, so if he miss you with his upper body, he's still rolling with the rest of his body. So you, he really giving you more than just a diving at shoestrings. That, and he knows he's a smaller guy, so that's the way he has to tackle bigger guys, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that. Like I said earlier, getting people down by any means necessary. It don't matter how you get them down. Just get them down. Legally, I may add. Legally. Now here, right? He's uh, covering this slot guy right here. Uh, lined up in the slot. Remember, we talked about the different ways he was lined up at Maryland. He's covering this slot receiver. Or maybe this is a tight end. Well, this is a slot receiver. Because the tight end is down here. So he's covering this slot receiver. Now we got, I think he got screwed on this one. Bad throw by the QB. He breaks on it. Pick it up off the turf. Let's go the other way with it. Oski. I think the referee screwed us on that. And the replay official screwed us on it. I say interception all day. I could have my purple shades on, but that's what we're here for. We're going to keep our purple shades on for the most part. For the most part. Pick it up off the turf. Yeah. Flew it. Let's go the other way. And down by contact because of that tackle. So no fumble by Bo Bray. Should have been all ball, but it is what it is. So to add to all that versatility of aligning everywhere, you have ball skills. That's why I put this on here really while I'm cracking jokes. I wanted to show you that he do have ball skills. And then we'll close out with this one right here. It's in the middle of the field. And we're just going to end this the way we started. He's the last line of defense. And when they break out, you got to get people down by any means necessary. Yeah. When they break runs and you're the last man standing, get them down by any means necessary. Now, again, Bo Braid is he's in a crowded, crowded. I ain't going to say just safety room. He's in a crowded secondary for the Ravens. And them guys are fighting tooth and nail for reps and to make the 53. So if he does not make our 53, hopefully he can make the practice squad. But with the way he's been playing, hopefully nobody picks him up on waivers and he can make our practice squad. But I really like what he, this guy's put on film. Um, I like what Sanusi's put on film. And you guys tell me in the comment section, do you think Bo Braid has done enough to make the 53? Has he done enough to make the practice squad? And if we do initially cut him do you think somebody else is going to pick him up those are the questions i have for you uh answer them in the comment section this is coach evans with another episode of sip the tally films i hope you like the video if you're not subscribed i hope you do so and drop your comments answer the question and i'll get with you as soon as i can i appreciate y'all and i'll see y'all on the next one peace and love